Hi, this is P.R. Sundar. Welcome to this special episode where I am going to show you uh, some option strategy in uh, Delta dot exchange. So, crypto options. And I think uh, last time I shared many videos and many strategies and Bitcoin moved very violently. It went up to 48, 49,000 dollars and then from all the way it came to 26, 27,000 dollars and now it is trying to stabilize around 30,000 dollars. But despite such a wild swing and all our strategies have not given loss. In fact, they have given some profit. But somewhere we have to make some adjustments. No options is not like you just take it and sit down the whole period. I still remember I bought some 40,000 call option, sold 60,000 call option and the market has crashed. When the market has crashed, so where is the possibility of market going back to $40,000? So what I did, the just buy option I just quieted it off and sell option I left it. So now the probability of crypto going to 60,000 is very, very low. So slowly we are getting some profit. And I'm going to share with you uh, some strategy I've taken just a few days before. And look here, and this is Bitcoin. Now the spot is trading somewhere $30,500. And what I did, I just took 34,000 short straddle. You can see here, this is 29th July. And you can see here, this is put option and this is call option and sold both 34,000 short straddle. And I thought market is going to recover, but the market is not recovering and we are actually sitting in a loss and see how much is the loss you can see the loss here and we have a 34,000 in the call option we are sitting with only 83 dollar profit but in the put option we are sitting with a 286 dollar loss roughly about 200 dollar loss only that's because the market has come down okay now shall we sit down as it is although the rationale behind doing this is that you know like put option and call option together so we have collected roughly about six thousand five hundred dollars that works out to be you know the lower break even around 27 27500 and upper break even about 40 40500 so our lower break even has not breached but still temporary mtm loss will be there so how to contain that loss what we did, we just sold some extra call option. So we sold 45,000 call option we have sold here. And in fact, the trading system is so nice. You go to the settings here and then you click position. So it will exactly show you how much position you have. So here 34,000 put option we sold uh, 0.45 units, right? That means like uh, about half of the Bitcoin. And call option also we have 0.45. But you look at the 45,000 call option, we have 1.1. Actually, we have done, we have sold more than that. Because now markets are bearish, crypto is down. And this is because of this US inflation data and this and that. So we sold extra call option. You can actually, if you go here and click position, so you will exactly know how much quantity you have. Other than that, you will be knowing what are the strike prices you have. And now I'm thinking, you know, Bitcoin is going to be uh, more bearish, not going to recover. So what I'm going to do as an additional trade, I'm going to sell 40,000 call option. 40,000 call option, I'm going to sell. Here, 40,000 call option, buyer is 530, seller is 637. The liquidity, you know, I think nowadays, you don't know what is happening. Liquidity is a bit low. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to put 600 rupees as my law, uh, pr price. If it gets triggered, let it get triggered. Otherwise, at the end of the day, I will just modify, I will give. This is sell limit 600. Any leverage, leverage is 10x. Quantities, I'm putting 450. That's equivalent to 0.45 Bitcoin. So I'm going to place the order, sell. Place the order. So the order is submitted and it is also reflecting here. Just now the best bid was 630. Now it is 600. Here, I summarize what I have done. I have taken 34,000 short straddle, collected about 6,500 premium. My lower break even is 28,500 and upper break even is 40,500. That's because I have collected about 6,500 point uh, premium. Uh, 6,034 minus 6,000 is 27,500, right? Yeah, 27,500 and uh, 40,500. And Bitcoin has been trading in this range only, but However, additional call option I we sold, 45,000 call option. But now we are finding, you know, 
the Bitcoin is not really doing very well. As and when it goes to 31,000 plus, it's coming back again. So we just take a risk and then selling 40,000 call option. So at 600 rupees. So later, you know, at the end of the day, if it is not getting triggered, maybe we change it to 575 or 550. We will just make it to trigger. If you want to look at this strategy builder, so I'm going to show you the strategy builder. I'm going to add one by one. Look here, first we have to choose. So here we are choosing 52 day, which is a July expiry. So here we are just putting a trade, 34,000 put option and 34,000 call option, both 450 quantity, then 45,000 call option, 1,100 quantity. 40,000 call, we have just placed the order, 450 quantity. Now we need to look at the prices. At what price we sold, you can be seen from the back office, 34,000 is 1,907. So the call option is 1,907. So I'll just modify the price. Now we have to look at the put option. Put option we sold for 4460. 45,000 call option. We have done it at $310. And then now we have placed this at 600 rupees. So assume that this is getting triggered at 600 rupees. Now look at the payoff chart. Our lower break even is about uh, 26,000 around 26,500 and upper break even is around 41,000. So that means roughly from 26,000 to 41,000 we are safe. We just continue to monitor the prices of Bitcoin and as and when it moves uh, or it does not move, uh, we keep making some kind of adjustments to increase the range of our profit loss. So this is how we make some good money. And of course, uh, cryptos and uh, you know, the profits are really very good. So if you are interested to open an account in Delta Exchange, you can just click the link in the description to open an account in Delta Exchange. So hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you for watching.